and welcome to another edition of Harcourt's Hot Seat. Today I've got Justine Lindley, who is the CEO of the City of Ballarat, I believe. Justine, how are you? Oh, fantastic, Tim. Is that uh, the correct title? Yeah, absolutely. CEO of the beautiful City of Ballarat. Yes, we're driving through it now. It's beautiful heritage buildings ahead of White Night, which is on very soon. Uh, so, yeah, Saturday. So, um, uh, you know, Friday drives through uh, Ballarat are always interesting at the best of times, but... Um, definitely coming into spring, it's great. It is fantastic time of year, a bit windy. So Justine, I've spoke to a few people and said I was having you on and every single person has said, have we got a CEO of Ballarat? What, what, what do they do? So, <laughs> so what do you do? So I'm actually the CEO of the, the city of the council. So okay. uh, we have a staff of uh, around about 1,100 people. So I'm, re- you know, it sounds a little bit scary, but I'm responsible yes. for for uh, the, the livelihoods of 1,100 people who provide services to our community. So everything from, um, uh, you know, the, the the parks and gardens, the streets, the yeah. the um, rubbish bins and the waste and yes, recycling we'll issue. Yes, we won't talk about that today. No, that's right. And uh, But also things like events and festivals, childcare, okay. um, uh, you, you name it, uh, our libraries and aged and disability services. So Yeah. Um, it's a big job. Uh, it's a massive job. Yeah, big job. Uh, and I also have a great deal to do with, um, uh, with councillors. So uh, we have nine elected representatives mm-hmm. and uh, the council meets uh, every, every week um, for briefings and for, to look at policy matters. And then um, once every three weeks we have a formal council meeting in the council chamber. Okay. Like everyone we seem to have on this show, I say that each time you probably work a truckload of hours. What do you do in that little spare time you get free? Oh, look, I love, um, I love, funnily enough, I've just gone past a bookshop, but I love um, uh, anything to do with, with the arts, with reading, with okay. um, uh, sort of all of that curious uh, activity that you might do, but I'm also a sports nut. Okay. Um, so, very big follower of, of footy. Um, okay. my, Who's your team? Uh, it has to be the Western Bulldogs. Uh, um, uh, uh, and I am still claiming them now as a Ballarat Bulldog, you know, like yes. I love I love Footscray and I like that, um, that sort of uh, a little bit of a family connection too. But Favourite player? Uh, Favourite player is definitely the Bont at the moment. Yes. So, pretty hard um, to go past. yeah, pretty hard to go past. Um, but I do like the captain too, Eastern Wood. So, um, yeah, and and you know, I had I did have a favourite player who had some you know Ballarat connections, rec- uh, up until recently when he uh, retired uh, in Liam Picken. Yes. But um, yeah, look, I think the I incredibly admire the athleticism of uh, AFL players, um, and not just the, the the men's players, but the AFL women's as well. Yes, I think. Which is growing, oh, isn't it? it's just it's astounding it's the. The work that uh, they put in, uh, and the growth of um, women's football is just incredible. So, really, really looking forward to seeing what they can uh, grow into into the future. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, exactly. What about music? Music, um, very eclectic um, taste in music. In fact, I'm really looking forward to uh, Spilt Milk Festival that's coming up on the 30th of November. Yes. Um, uh, love local um, indie indie bands and and yeah. rock. Uh, a big follower of live music. Um, yep. Uh, so uh, well, actually, summer just Sundays. Uh, out. Yeah, summer. Plug. Yeah, summer Sundays are fantastic. Away. They're not far away. Uh, and all of, all of the live music that happens in and around Ballarat is is something that uh, really drew me into Ballarat. Mm-hmm. So uh, I love it. Uh, and. Uh, pre- previously to, to coming here, I was part of the um, establishment of the Grand Pins Music Festival in Hillscat, oh, yeah. uh, uh, which again is featuring local um, local artists and uh, local performers. So I um, was fortunate enough to do a little bit of a road trip last weekend and went to Lucendale for the um, one night stand. Mm. Uh, so you know, listened to Ocean Alley and Meg Mac and nice. um, uh, you know. A G Flip and uh, and and uh, are, well, yeah, sure well, are. well, yeah. well, quite a few of them are actually coming out to um, to spilt milk in, on the okay. on the thirtieth. So uh, yeah, really look, looking forward to that. And we've got some local people even involved, um, local musicians involved in that big music festival. There's going to be something like twenty five thousand people out at the really? park. Yeah, wow. I know. So wow. it's a big thing for the town. That is a massive thing, isn't yeah. it? Our uh, favourite movie. 
Um, favorite movie is uh, House Sitter. I know it's House a really Sitter. old one. Never it's a really old one, um, and it's uh, it's got a Goldie Horn Goldie Horn in it. Uh, so um, from the gosh, it would be from the eighties. Um, makes me laugh every time. Okay, I might have to check it out. Um, well, Justine, I think we've covered a fair bit today, so I really appreciate you coming on. Thank you, Tim. You got a busy day ahead. I do, yeah, getting prepped up for um, the, the rest of White Night. Um, as you can see, there's plenty of road closures going on, but all there for a good is, cause. So, yeah, yeah, when we end up with um, maybe sixty to 70,000 people in the street um, on Saturday night, uh, we'll, be, we'll be grateful for the road closures. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for coming on. Hopefully people now know who you are and maybe a little bit about what you do and that we do have a CEO and all those sorts of things. And um, I'm sure people uh, keep an eye out for your name. Fantastic. Thanks, Tim. Thanks.